On the morning of October 5th, Taylor Swift had planned the perfect birthday surprise for her boyfriend, NFL star Travis Kelsey. She had spent weeks meticulously preparing for his big day, a private rooftop dinner, a custom cake, and a personal performance of a song she had written just for him. She knew how much Travis loved thoughtful gestures, and she wanted to make this birthday unforgettable. The day started off perfectly. They had a quiet breakfast together, and Travis seemed genuinely excited about the day ahead. But then, shortly after noon, things began to change. Taylor noticed that Travis had become unusually quiet, scrolling through his phone more than usual. Every time she tried to engage him in conversation, he'd respond absent-mindedly, his attention clearly elsewhere. By late afternoon, Travis excused himself to run a quick errand assuring Taylor he'd be back in time for the evening's plans. She thought nothing of it, after all, birthdays could be hectic. But as the hours ticked by and the sun began to set, Taylor's excitement turned into worry. It wasn't until she checked social media that she realized where Travis had gone. There he was, in several Instagram stories, posted by his friends, at a loud, boisterous party filled with his NFL teammates and friends, completely oblivious to the intimate evening Taylor had arranged. He wasn't just attending, he was the life of the party, laughing, drinking, and clearly having a great time. Taylor's heart sank. She felt a mixture of disbelief and disappointment. He had chosen to spend his birthday in a completely different way, leaving her, and the plans she had made, on the sidelines. She had wanted to create a special moment for just the two of them, something personal and meaningful. But Travis had gone the opposite route, immersing himself in the chaos of a party that felt worlds away from what she had envisioned. When Travis finally arrived home, it was late. He was apologetic but clearly didn't grasp the extent of Taylor's disappointment. I didn't think it was a big deal, he said, I just wanted to hang out with the guys for a bit. I didn't realize you'd go all out like this. That stunned the most, he hadn't realized. For Taylor, it wasn't about the party, or the fact that he'd had fun with his friends. It was that she had poured her heart into making the day special for him, and he hadn't noticed. As Travis tried to apologize, Taylor sat in silence, her mind racing. She wasn't sure what to say. It wasn't about one ruined evening, it was about feeling undervalued in a relationship where she gave so much of herself. Would this be the pattern? Would her love language, thoughtful gestures and deep emotional connection, always go unnoticed? That night, as Travis fell asleep beside her, Taylor stayed awake, staring at the ceiling. She knew they had to talk about it, about more than just the birthday. But as she lay there, she couldn't help but wonder if their relationship was truly as aligned as she had hoped. On October 5th, Taylor Swift was excited. It was her boyfriend Travis Kelsey's birthday, and she had planned a day that would sweep him off his feet. The two had been inseparable lately, their relationship a whirlwind of concerts, NFL games, and date nights in between their busy schedules. Taylor had imagined this day would be perfect, a romantic dinner followed by a surprise party with his close friends. But as the day began, things started to feel off. Travis seemed distant. Instead of waking up with his usual playful smile and good morning kisses, he rolled out of bed, grabbed his phone, and immediately got lost in a sea of texts and notifications. Taylor shrugged it off, assuming it was just his friend sending birthday wishes. She went ahead and prepared his favorite breakfast, pancakes with extra syrup. But Travis barely acknowledged it, mumbling a quick thanks before heading to his gym without a second glance. Maybe he's planning something, Taylor thought optimistically, trying to shake off the gnawing disappointment. As the hours passed, she waited for him to return home, eagerly anticipating the moment they'd spend together. Instead, when he finally came back, it was with a group of his football buddies, loud and rowdy, as if it were just any regular day. Travis barely paid her attention, engulfed in his world of banter and competitive trash talking about an upcoming game. They crowded the living room, watching clips of their last match, as if this was how Travis wanted to celebrate. Taylor, feeling like an afterthought, tried to engage. She poured drinks, put out snacks, and tried to share in the fun. But it became clearer that the intimate, romantic day she had planned wasn't happening. As the evening dragged on, her patience wore thin. The breaking point came when Taylor overheard Travis casually mention to one of his friends that he was thinking of heading out to a bar later to really celebrate. He hadn't even asked if she wanted to come along. Really, Travis? She asked, her voice barely concealing the hurt. He turned, his carefree expression faltering as he saw the frustration in her eyes. What? I didn't think you'd be into that double angle quotation mark. I planned something special for you. I thought today was about us, not just hanging out with your friends. Double angle quotation mark. 
Travis frowned, as if the realization hit him too late. Oh, babe, I didn't mean to make you feel left out. Double angle quotation mark. But it was too late. The herd had already set in. Taylor had imagined this day going differently, a day where they would celebrate his birthday together, not as an afterthought to his social life. She could handle their public schedules, the fans, the travel, and the distance that sometimes came with dating a superstar athlete. But what stunned the most was feeling like she didn't matter enough on a day that should have been about them. I know you didn't mean it, Taylor said softly, standing up and heading for the door. But that's the problem. As she walked out of the room, leaving Travis surrounded by his friends and the noise of the TV, she couldn't help but feel like it wasn't just his birthday that had gone wrong, it was something deeper, a growing divide between their worlds. For the first time in their relationship, Taylor wasn't sure if they could bridge the gap. On October 5th, Taylor Swift had everything planned for Travis Kelsey's birthday. It was supposed to be an unforgettable day filled with love, laughter, and the perfect celebration. She'd rented out a private rooftop venue overlooking the city, decorated it with fairy lights and candles, and invited his closest friends and family. Taylor even wrote a new song, a ballad that captured all the emotions she felt for him, planning to surprise him by performing it live. As the clock ticked closer to 7 p.m., Taylor sat on the edge of the couch, nervously glancing at her phone. Travis was supposed to arrive by now. She'd spent hours rehearsing her surprise, her heart pounding with excitement. But as the minutes dragged on, the nervous anticipation slowly began to turn into worry. By 8 p.m., her phone buzzed with a text from Travis. Hey babe, sorry I'm running late. I'll be there in a bit. Taylor sighed in relief. At least he hadn't forgotten. But the evening started to feel off. An hour passed, and then another. The guests were getting restless, and the candles were starting to burn out. She sent him a quick message, trying to stay calm. Everything okay? We're all here waiting for you. His reply came a few minutes later. Yeah, sorry again, some of the guys and I got carried away at the bar after practice. I'll head over soon. Taylor's heart sank. The bar? This was his birthday.